Hello everyone, it's really good to see you here. So today we are going to solve a GFG problem which is minimum number of coins. So what we have given is, we have given an infinite supply of each denomination of Indian currency. So we have 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, 500 and 2000 and the target value n. So what we have to do is, we have to find the minimum number of coins or notes needed to make the change for rupees n. So let's suppose we have some rupees n and we have to make the change. So how many minimum number of coin needed to make that change of n? So this is the question. Uh, now let's dive into its approach. So let's suppose we have given the approach like we have given m as 43. So what we can see from here is that uh, since in an Indian currency after 20 it's 50 right so in between 20 and 50 40 lies right so uh, the maximum or the largest coin which we use for it should be 20 because then only 40 is divisible by 20 so 43 is uh, divisible is actually uh, quite close to 40 and 40 is divisible by 20 that's why we divide 43 with 20 so we get our answer as 2 now what we do we just take if we just take two coins of 20 then we will get a sum of 40 right but after that we are left with 3 so for 3 3 is nearer to the coin 2 that's why what we do we divide 3 with 2 and we get 1 as our answer but so the coin is 2 basically so we have to append uh, the coin to one time and the same way now we are left with reminder 1 and if we divide it with uh, 1 then we will get 1 right. So again we have to actually append 1 one time. So we can see that since this value is 2 that's why we are appending uh, 22 times. This value is 1 so we are appending it one time. This value is also 1 so we are appending 1 one time and this whole sum up to 43 and this is the minimum number of coins uh, required to actually make the change of 43 so let's dive into its coding part this is the approach so what we firstly do we just make a vector v which have all the uh, which have all these uh, denomination of indian currency and a vector answer in which we are going to append all the different uh, coins which we are using to change that particular given node so int s is basically v dot size so the size of the this vector which is containing the denomination of indian currency now what we do we just assess we just uh, take an um we just take an pointer i which is starting from the last index because what we want, we want to minimize the coin. That's why we use the maximum coin possible to make that change, right? And n is uh, basically the given coin or given note. So what we do, we, we run a while loop till the point our value of n is greater than 0. And at the same time, our value of i is also greater than equal to 0. So what we do? We check that if value of n is greater than the vi element, then what we do? We just uh, divide it by that element and then we run a loop for, uh, for the point where j is less than t and we append that particular element uh, inside our answer vector that t number of times. And then what we do? We just take the mod we just make our n as n modulo equal to v uh, so this is what we are doing here right firstly 43 so 20 is close to 43 because 20 can divide 40 so we firstly make it uh, so here our t is 2 that's why we are appending 2 times 20 and again we are left with 3 that's why we are again checking for another value that is present inside our uh, denomination array or vector and we are again calculating how many number of times and which point we are going to use so this is basically the leftover or the remainder from doing this and again at the end we just 
decrease our ith value and at the end of it we have to simply return our answer so let's try to submit this out So this is the approach to solve the problem, minimum number of coins and if you want to assess the code then you can check the github link given in the description. And this is it for this video, thanks for watching.